Okay, my Young and the Restless fans, it's that time again for spoilers for this upcoming week. Daniel faces a difficult choice after receiving a warning. Kyle continued to work to get back with Summer and getting her good graces. And Tucker is left shocked and confused after someone buys his debt. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is your young and the restless spoilers video for the week of February 20th through February 24th. And without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on this week. So I guess the whole phrase people can be bought maybe have some truth into that because coming up this week look like Tucker is left shocked and confused as someone buys his debt and that is none other than Ashley Abbott. She owns him at this point and she turned the table on Tucker. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting storyline because with Ashley actually buying the debt, that means somebody else has been left to the side of the road. And we're going to talk about who that is coming up. So remember we saw Adam try to undermine Victoria's position at Newman? Well, Victor makes a power move to help Adam. So I know he put that ultimatum on the table. He wants his dad to prove himself. And of course, we know Victor is not going to unseat Victoria. However, there's still this phase two. Now, unbeknownst to uh, Victor, maybe that phase two might not be going the way he expect. But that's what he puts on the table. The question is, what's next for Adam? Next up, let's talk about Heather and Daniel. And Heather gives Daniel a warning. Now, we all know Daniel wants that relationship with Lucy. And that warning that Heather gives him is to not push Lucy into rebuilding this relationship, which of course is going to send Daniel into a depression. Ooh, this is not looking good. So we got to stay tuned. So look like we're headed to court because we're going to see Devon turn into Christine for counsel. He wants his company back and Jill and Lily are not budging. So it looks like he's going to make that move or at least consider making a move to take this to litigation. So what's going to happen next? So, look like Sally is in this conundrum on whether or not, with regards to her pregnancy, is it Nick or does the baby belong to Adam? Well, this allows Sally to examine her relationships with Adam because once the truth comes out, which is supposedly this week, she has some decisions to make and so do these men, unless it's Nick and Adam will never know. But, what will she decide and how is she going to move forward? We have to stay tuned. Oh boy, somebody is in trouble. Victoria gives Audra the third degree because we know Victoria is pissed that she did not get Tucker's company because Ashley beat her to the punch. So of course, it traces back to Audra giving Tucker that information about a week or so ago. And once Nate gives that information back to Victoria, Victoria is going to read her the riot act. What is going Audra going to do now or is this going to affect her position in the company? We got to stay tuned. So Wednesday, February 22nd, we are going to get the moment of truth as results are in that arrive for Sally and Nick. Who's the dad? The paternity test is revealed. The question is, is it going to be kept a secret or is the real deal information going to come out? We all know it's always something tricky when it comes to paternity tests on the soaps. So we got to see how Sally is going to handle all of this. So Kyle was in the doghouse last week because he has been lying first to his dad, but also to his wife Summer about him colluding with Victor, which of course is Summer's grandfather. She's been warning him for the longest, but he didn't listen and he went behind her back. Well, Kyle is once again this week going to seek forgiveness from Summer. Will she finally give in and continue forward with their marriage or could it go left? We got to stay tuned. Well, I guess from one COO position to a co-CEO position, it looked like Jack is going to help Billy pursue a new opportunity over at Jabot. Since Adam is out, of course, Jack needs a co-CEO and why not none other than his brother, Billy? 
I'm interested to find out exactly whether Billy is going to be up to the job. Because remember, he couldn't do it over at Chancellor Winters. Now he can do it at Jabot. I guess maybe he had a change of heart about being in the business world. We got to stay tuned. So with all of this drama this week around Devon suing Lily and Jill to get his company back, Nate is going to concoct a plan to reconnect his family. However, that plan is going to backfire. What is Nate doing now? We got to see how that all falls out. And finally, we all know last week, the week of the 13th, guess who's back? Jeremy Stark. And you know he wants to get revenge or whatever, even if it's money, with this whole situation with Jack and Diane actually throwing him under the bus when he didn't do anything. Well, guess what? She's going to get a cryptic message. Could that be from Jeremy Stark or could that be coming from somewhere else? We got to stay tuned for this and everything else going on this week. Okay, so there you have it. Your Young and the Restless spoilers for the week of February 20th through February 24th, 2023. If you haven't checked out the Bold and the Beautiful spoilers for this week, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you soon. Bye.